Hey everybody, my name is Darren Burrell and I'm here with Ryan Baumgartner from SMC. He's going to talk to you a little bit about the latest and greatest SMC product and he said this is a flux capacitor. Flux capacitor! But I think it's more like a pulse valve. That's the magic inside, don't give it away. Ooh, I like magic. But it will save you money and air consumption. So. The magic is going to be explained here shortly. What we're here to talk about today is energy savings. So as most people know, uh, pneumatics is the number one utility in the average industrial plant. Obviously that makes it the best choice for a target for energy savings. So what we want to bring to the table today is a very easy, effective way to bring energy savings to your plant without reinventing the wheel. Num the number one consumer of air in the average plant is open nozzle blow-offs. They consume a lot of air and they're used in so many different places. Air knives, cleaning, dust control, things like that inside a machine and they're just open nozzles constantly blowing. So what we have today is a pulse valve that you put in line before the nozzle and it's actually just going to cut the air on and off at a high frequency rate and it's going to bring two things to the table. Number one, every amount of time that that air is off, you're reducing that consumption. If it's just a fraction of a second, that's a fraction of a second that you did not consume air. So it's a major savings. Number two, because we're constantly pulsing on and off, it actually brings better agitation to whatever you're trying to blow off and wherever that nozzle's directed at. So you get the best of both worlds. You get better results for less cost, less energy consumption. It's a no-brainer. Now, another good thing about this is it's not invasive to the machine. There's no wires. You're not hooking it up to the PLC. You're not reprogramming the PLC. You're not changing the nozzle itself. You're not changing the process of your machine. You literally have to find a convenient place to mount it before the nozzle, cut the tubing, plumb it, and you're done. There is a couple flow controls on here to adjust it, to tweak it to your application. One of these adjusts how long that pulse is on. The other adjusts how long the pulse is off. So you can tweak it to your application. But of course, if you have a 50-50 a on versus off rate, you're automatically just going to save 50% of the air consumption right out of the bat. Very easy thing to do. The demo I brought with me today to prove this point is very simple. I have a, a air nozzle in the bottom of this tube with some BBs and we're going to watch the BBs up and down in this tube and that's going to simulate the agitation that you're going to get on the machine with whatever you're trying to blow off. I have two different circuits here, a standard circuit without the pulse valve and a uh, circuit with the pulse valve. So when I run the standard one, you're going to see initially when I turn it on, you're going to get a high spike in these little BBs here. It's going to come all the way to the top of the tube. And then you're going to see it drop down to the, to the middle. And that's going to be where your actually process is going to be. This is what your machine is going to see on a day-to-day -day basis of the amount of agitation. It's only going to be about half. So as I turn that on, you're going to watch that. It spikes, and now you're only getting about half of the, the movement in these BBs that you want to. So that's going to run for a few seconds and consume 9 liters of air. It consumed 9 liters of air to get that mediocre agitation. Now when I run the circuit with the pulse valve, you're going to see, you're going to hear it pulsing, you're going to see the BBs pulsing up and down, and you're going to see the BBs coming all the way to the top of the tube. So I'm going to turn that on, and you're going to see these come all the way up to the top repeatedly, not just a mediocre halfway through. It's going to be repeatedly thrown to the top of the tube, simulating the agitation you're going to get in your process on your machine, and look at how much air I consumed. I only consumed five liters of air compared to nine. I got better results with less consumption. I saved four liters of air in 10 seconds. How much air would your process change if you implemented these onto your machines? 
how much air can you save? If you would like to know anything else about SMC's pulse valve or any other energy savings that we could be doing for your pneumatic equipment, please reach out to your Scott Equipment Company local account manager for more information. They're very knowledgeable at this and they're ready to help you. Thanks Ryan for talking to us a little bit about the pulse valve and how it is going to be able to save us air savings and also cost in our air circuit. For all you YouTubers out there, please make sure you share, like, and subscribe to our channel. Uh, we have many other videos out there. Please do the same. Thanks again, Ryan, and until next time.